Stress. We all experience it from time to time. That state of mental strain that can come when life throws you adversity. While a little added stress may help us meet an approaching deadline, prolonged exposure to the stress hormone cortisol has been linked to major health problems. In a new study, our research team investigated whether animals living under risk of attack from predators experience elevated levels of stress hormones, also known as the predation stress hypothesis. To test this hypothesis in the wild, our team found just the right situation off South Africa. Cave fur seals living among one of the densest populations of great white sharks in the world. Great whites are excellent hunters and ambush seals from below when the seals are swimming to and from their island homes. We wanted to know if the risk of getting eaten by a great white shark causes elevated levels of cortisol stress hormones in seals, because if so, high stress responses could lead to poorer health and reduced survival in seals. To answer these questions, we focused our investigation on six seal colonies on different islands that have varying levels of exposure to hunting great whites. We analyzed movement data from satellite tagged great whites, which revealed that half of the island colonies are targeted by sharks during winter months, while the others are not. To quantify the stress levels in each colony, we came up with an innovative but smelly plan. We collected seal feces from the different islands and measured them for levels of cortisol stress hormones. Three years and 500 fecal samples later, we discovered that seals exhibited high stress levels at the island colonies targeted by the great whites, but only during the winter months when the sharks were actively hunting. We also recorded daily attack rates on seals at one of the islands and compared them to seal fecal stress levels, revealing that stress hormones were significantly higher during the weeks with more shark attacks. This result suggests that seals are somehow able to gauge their level of risk from a shark attack and mount a stress response accordingly. The underwater landscapes at the islands also played an important role. Stress hormone responses were not detected at one island where seals could evade attacks by using dense kelp forests and rocky reefs as protective cover as they swam about the island despite the presence of hunting sharks. In contrast, high stress hormone levels were observed at islands lacking these bathymetric features, suggesting that having nowhere to hide from sharks increases a seal's stress level. Understanding the mechanisms behind predator-prey interactions is important to better understand how ecosystems function as a whole. This study's results underscore the ecological importance of apex predators, such as sharks, as any possible loss in the health or survival of prey due to stress from predators could have trickle-down effects throughout the food web. This is especially important today as many apex predators around the world, like sharks, are currently threatened due to removal by humans and loss of habitat. And as a predator population changes, so will the ecosystem. Understanding how this happens will help guide successful conservation efforts.